glad you called me. I have five things I want to tell you. I just came from the gym. Hush, friend. I, look, I got a dog for sale. If you want him, he's for sale. I just came from the gym. <laughs> See, he's confirming that. I just came from the gym, and I said, what are uh, some things I want to share with my fam this week? Guess what? Five things came to mind. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you five things to help you reignite your weight loss journey if you've fallen off that old wagon or if you're just getting started. Cute as a button, but oh my word. <laughs> Let's get started. Look, I'm ready to get started too, but take a quick moment, get you a notepad and a pen or pencil to take notes. In addition to that, if you will, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up button if you find something in this video that you fancy. Let's get started. So look, I'm gonna try to keep this short and brief because if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love to talk, okay? Let me try to keep it brief. When I think about getting on track or getting started with my um, health journey, and it has been a journey for me. I have another video, if you haven't seen it already, I'll link it down below so you can see exactly um, a little bit of my journey. But just to kick things off today, when I think about getting started, I always think about my five senses. Five senses, so I'm gonna give you five senses that will help you get on track. Tip number one is this. Touch, your sense of touch. Grab your book. This is what I'm reading right now. If you're following me on Instagram, you know it. You're following it with me. Great. I'm so proud of you. But get you a book. A book. Um, your newspaper that you like to read daily. And in addition to that, a crossword puzzle. Child, I love crossword puzzles. My mom passed that down to me. She loves to do them even to this day and as do I. Get you a crossword puzzle, your favorite book, what magazine, whatever it is. Something that you can touch. A tangible book. And you may be wondering why. Well, it's simple. It'll keep your mind occupied. It'll keep your mind working. It's always great to work your brain, and reading does just that. And like I said, it keeps your mind off food. Child, anything that'll keep my mind off food, just about. I'm down. <laughs> Music. Listen. Listen. Let me tell you. Listen to whatever the Lord leads you to listen to, because it's very imperative that you do so. That's a whole nother topic for another day, but keep this in mind. Music is soothing, it's relaxing, it helps you de-stress. And we all know, especially if you're a Weight Watcher or whatever program you do, even if it's at home on your, on your lonesome, you know that stress is the number one demotivator to keep you on track. So I encourage you today to find some nice tunes, listen to them, and help them get you back on track. Tip number three. In our five tips to help you get started on your weight loss journey or to reignite it is this movies movies y'all it's great to laugh it's great to uh, shout and get excited all of these things are great things when you're trying to lose weight trust me when I tell you you don't need to be uptight and angry and bundled up inside. Watch you a movie. Watch something good. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. Watch something good. Don't watch something that Jesus will sit down and watch with you, okay? That's just the truth. Watch something good. Watch your life transform. This will help your overall mood, your focus, as well as your mind. Another thing I just thought of is plays. Go to your play. I'm here in Atlanta, and let me tell you, there are plays all the time, all the time. Check your local area to see what plays are going on. If you don't have any um, in, in an area near you, there may be some downtown or a short distance from you. That's something that you definitely should do. See a movie. Yes, Lord. See a play. I'm telling you, your life will change. Take a walk. See new sites. Walk in a different area in your neighborhood. Take a walk downtown. See some new sites. Oh my goodness. For me, there's nothing like new sites. I love architecture. I love history. I love nature in general. So when you go out and walk, pay attention to those things. That'll help you move overall and give you something to focus on while you walk. Oh, oh my goodness. It smells so good. You may wonder, what is that girl sniffing? Look. Oh my goodness. Soaps. Soaps, candles, plug-ins, fresh flowers are all great mood changers. I'm telling you, they help me stay focused on my weight loss journey. Without them, I'm telling you, I can. I know there's a big difference. 
So light up your favorite candle and let me show you my favorite. I'll show it to you in one second. Look, check this out. Light up your favorite candle. When you wash your hands, get your favorite soap, whatever that scent is. It's just the little things that makes a difference. And trust me, on this weight loss journey, you're going to need a lot of things to help you stay focused because oftentimes we'll get started and then we stop and then we get started again. So to help us stay on this track, the right track, we're going to do everything in our power to get it done. We made it to number five, y'all. <laughs> Taste. Oh my goodness. Find your healthy treat. If you like it, eat it. If you don't like it, trash it. You don't have to eat something that you don't like. I used to think that because something was healthy, I had to have it. No, find something you do like. And with that being said, prepare. Prepare on either Saturday or Sunday. Prepare your meals. Um, even if it's just your snacks, take five minutes out to create a meal plan for the week. Stick to it and watch your waistline fall down. I'm telling you, get smaller. That weight is going to fall off. Your confidence is going to build up because you're doing everything in your power to make sure you control the outcome. So I challenge you this week to take these tips. If you've used them, let me know. If you have some tips, please share them with us. We are family, y'all. So whatever we can help, whatever we can do to help each other, we need to do just that. I love each and every one of you. And God bless you. And we'll talk soon in the next video. <laughs> do you think these are some great tips that we gave? What do you think? Have a seat. Good, baby. What do you think? Good tips? All right. I agree. You gave some great tips today, buddy. Tell everybody you love them. We'll see them later. Say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye-bye. Ah! Ah! Good boy. <laughs>